You can rely on the Avengers to host a great victory rap party. A great job they did on Loki. Mm. The brie is fantastic. Could you pass me some more nachos? Sure, giant man! Welcome, Wasp. Enjoy the spread. Although, I'd steer clear of the Asgardian Volavons. Food of the gods, my friends. <laughs> Where's Banner? He enjoys his quiet time. Well, I guess the Hulk not being here means you've saved on the catering. Incoming call from Nick Fury. Another emergency. Did you get those doors to the command center fixed, Tony? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, guys, we're uh, gonna have to wrap this up. Great pity. The hors d'oeuvres were outstanding. You watch, I'll drive. Come on, we'd better head to the command center. What are the chances that door is actually fixed? Oh, righty roo! So, of course, the incoming call from Nick Fury has arrived. And uh, let's go on ahead and figure out how we have to deal with it. Uh, first and foremost, we get to play as Wasp, which is pretty awesome, and Capitan America. So, that is definitely quite neat. And he didn't fix the doors. Of course, he didn't fix the doors. Why would he ever fix the doors? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Tony. What's up? Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. What the you need me to do, bro? The mechanism is still busted. Got it. I guess I didn't fix it after all. Where your face plate go? Oh, okay. That scared me. It's gonna take some extra parts. Bro, every to time fix he it, does it, I kind of got a will on The mask so, goes back up. Hold up. Told you the is that actually need, true? Do you think you could go find some and bring them to me? Yes, I could. That is actually hilarious, though. Tony's so uncomfortable in social situations that immediately, as soon as he's not talking, the faceplate goes back up. Okay, so we need to do this mini mission first and foremost inside the actual Avengers mansion here. And the cool thing is that we actually do get to explore a lot of this area. So that is definitely quite neat, including some lovely loot up here. We're going to get this. Love the world saved banners up above. I don't know if those are available at Party City, but if they are, uh, they'll probably buy one, get one free in our world, at least. Hold up. Actually, isn't there another room right here? Yes, there is. Hey there. Hey! Well, you're itching to get on with the game, but let yep. me just quickly lay down some sweet tutorial action on you. Okay. Let me take a second. 30 tops. Okay. Over here. My sweet cheat machine. Got yourself a cheat code? Punch it into that baby. I like that the screen is like the old school the DVD loading screen. This is where you can buy my incredible, mystical pink bricks, which unlock awesome extras like, well, that'd be telling. <laughs> Some are available right now. Others you have to earn. Yeah, that's a little dramatic. Have fun okay. saving the world and junk. Those parts Thank you. Needs have to be a rep. Iron Man sent you on a tutorial mission, huh? I think some of those bits were lying around in here somewhere. Incoming call from We're going to get this. Okay, sweet. So we're missing one of each at this point. I love all the Easter eggs here, by the way. You have some really, really cool comic book issues recreated in Lego form. And also, I just now realized, is that the Infinity Gauntlet? It sure resembles it there. Okay, so we're going to make our way from there in the foyer down to this little pathway where there's another piece waiting to the trophy room this room is actually pretty fancy looking gotta be honest i've got to be honest with you on that one and so we're only missing one uh final component which is actually just hanging out over here great that looks like it should be enough let me take those off your hands and we can finally get this thing open got it i like this I think we Yes, we also get Tony unlocked, aka Iron Man. That is brilliant. A very, very useful minifig in this game with a lot of great abilities, whether it be the ability to destroy silver Lego objects, melt down gold bricks, flight, pretty good combos. In general, a pretty stellar character. Speaking of which, we're going to transform into Tony, who can also then go on ahead and actually fix things. So he does have that ability going for him as well, or the repair ability as it is known. Activate that. Do a little uh, dance right here. I feel like all of these maneuvers here. I feel like we're recording a TikTok, bro. A lot of dancing. All right, sweet. If it we was did so that. Easy, why didn't you fix it when I asked you the Hidden first pathway. Time? Don't bring that up. Come on, we've still got to answer that call. <laughs> it, 
she's bringing up a very valid point, but come on. This is insult to injury. Finally, we can see where the incoming Fury. call is arriving from. It looks like he's hitting us up on FaceTime. So let's go talk to Nick Fury. What's up, bro? Talk to me, Fury. Avengers. Sorry to break up the party. I have new missions for you. Siberia. Massive radiation spikes around the Okay, that's not good. Atuma's forces have been spotted out in the ocean. A prison breakout headed for Brooklyn Bridge. Holy moly. When it rains, it pours. Grab Spider-Man on your way out. Hey, it's my boy J. Jonah. Daily Bugle live stream. A webcast hosted by me, J. Jonah Jameson. Don't be fooled by the term webcast. I've not gone pro Spider-Man. Web is interweb or something. Enough techno battle. Prepare to be informed. Super villain activity across the globe has increased dramatically in the last few hours. The Avengers have assured the world's media this is just run-of-the-mill villainy. Nothing they can't handle. And it's in no way connected with earlier reports of a strange disturbance detected on the far side of the galaxy. Ha! Like you can trust anyone who wears a mask in tights. Right, now get out of here. I got a paper to run to, you know. Okay, so that was our first little daily boogle announcement. Is this place? Doth everything not look peaceful and calm to thee? We'll see when we get a bit closer. The Winter Guard were unable to get this far. Sure is beautiful. Okay, we have our first crew ready to deal with some problems. Sure was beautiful. What is that thing? The source of the radiation spike. According to Wasp, the researchers have vanished. Let us sally to their aid. Why would Cap just put that costume on suddenly? I, I, I guess there's some radiation that he's trying to avoid, I suppose. So we have a pretty great team right here. Right off the bat, we got Thor. We've got Capitan America. And we've got She-Hulk. And actually, it's time for our okay, first team, Marvel Mastermind of the yes. episode. And let me know down in the comment section below. Absolutely. Do you know what nice is the alter way, ego yeah. of She-Hulk? Uh. And with that in mind, let's rock and let's roll. I hate Snowman. This is this sounds like childhood trauma. This, this, that was way too... That was that was like uh welcome to therapy. Please do tell us more. Oh my goodness, that was awfully embarrassing, wasn't it? Okay, we're gonna have Thor smash and bash through all this junk. That then allows us to assemble something or another. This would be a jump Cap, pad! Care to give me a boost with your oh so shiny shield? You got it. Wait, what? Huh. Why does he have a problem what? Why did he say wait what? What's the problem to get boosted with the shiny? Okay. I, I don't get why he mentioned that in such an awkward way. Is there some sort of other interpretation of that sentence that just went away over my head? I suppose it could be possible. I'm going to transform to cap. That will then allow us to assemble a giant fan, Good baby. Work. Now let's try and find a way inside. Speaking of which, guys, if you're a fan of the Blitzfinger channel, please don't forget to go on ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Jumping. Holy moly. Okay, that looks like a pretty broken antenna slash... Okay, well, now it's very broken. It looked like something was wrong. Now something is definitely wrong. My shield should be able to So the cool thing is that we can actually go on ahead and also just have some fun riding a snowmobile. Because, come on, riding a snowmobile is an absolute blast. This is spoken by someone who has never ridden a snowmobile. But I have been on a jet ski. And basically, I mean, snowmobiles are jet skis on ice, right? And what is ice? Frozen water. And so, therefore, I've been on snowmobiles. That checks out. That's how you make an argument. I might have to become a lawyer, bro. If I keep arguing this well, bro, pretty phenomenal if you really think about it. Okay, making our way up. We can do a little bit of putting out of fires using uh, Captain America's shield as our blocking tool. Just assemble all this here. junk. Thor, do you think you could use your lightning to restore the power? Oh, hmm. I Let certainly can. Bringing the lightning, bringing the thunder. Bada beam, bada boom, power that up. And that's a worthy door, bro. If I've ever seen one. Who would have thunk it, dude? 
every automatic door worldwide has been praised by Odin to be worthy. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, that thing just puked a bunch of Lego bricks. Not really sure if we should be particularly celebrating that. Okay, the nice thing is like I can also gather a few extra studs there if I'd like. I don't remember, but I have a feeling like there's some hidden stud back here. There's not. I would be incorrect about that. Uh, but we're going to take a quick tumble. We're also going to hit this thing with a shield so it stops firing on us. Because it'd be nice to no longer get hit by stuff, so... Yay! This one is still going to go on ahead and attack, so we're going to go it on ahead and yeah, might be a clear that away. Inside. Let's take a look around and see if we can find some sort of an override switch. We have Thor, who can actually fly. So we're going to grab this, and then we're going to fly up. Now, Thor finally does have super strength. The mighty Thor as opposed to some of the other of this. Lego Marvel iterations. Very valuable studs back there. And somewhat valuable studs back here as well. There we go. Very nice. Okay. We need the power of thunder. Once we've gathered that, here's another activation point that needs to be powered up. Once we do this. Ta-da! Open sesame. It was a very uh, sassy walk there from uh, She-Hulk. He's like, I got this. Now, the only thing is that we actually do need cap here because there's another Captain America shield switch. So we're going to go on ahead and reassemble said switch. And flip the switch. Allowing us to get the last few remaining parts. That then let us open this big giant door, I suppose. So let's go on ahead and do a little bit of assembly work. There. We should be able to use this to open the door now. Okay. There are big Warning. flashing red lights. That's usually Materials Yeah. Detected. Okay, there we go. Lockdown in progress. That doesn't sound good. I see someone. Excuse me. Hello. Hey. Oh, that's Are you all right? No, what they're not all right. Here? Where's the rest of the team? No one that moves like that is all right. Heck? Come on. What madness is this? Have you not seen any zombie must movies? Have been the radiation or something. Agreed. We need to contain this situation now. Let's it is go. obviously disconcerting to see those guys being affected by the radiation, considering they're wearing the exact same attire as Captain America is wearing to protect himself from we'll said radiation. So I don't know if it's going to work, I suppose. Uh, but time will tell. Okay, so we reassemble something on the left-hand side. That then uh, will permit us to actually do some work on the right-hand side. Let's do a little bit of pushing of these crates over to the side. And now we get ourselves a mini kit. There is clearly a shield switch. Up above. Problem is, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I'm like, we don't have a way to throw the shield. Yes, we do. I didn't even see the pressure pad there. And swing, bada 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 bada, swing, baby. These shield switch puzzles are really cool. Whoa. Did we do it? I know not. Something's happening. Well, we did something. Yes, I like when we do something. That's that's always good because the we 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 stopped, so that's good. The annoying alarms. What are you doing, Cap? Cap, are you all right? Why would you just walk right? To oh, great, he's not all right. Oh yeah, we gotta fight him now. Oh man. Uh oh, Steve. He has been consumed by the cloud. But why would the gas turn By the cloud? Us? I thought Something the cloud was a good way to save your game files. The cloud? Go! Swing, swing, swing! Oh, boy. Come on, Cap! He doesn't have the shield, which means he's vulnerable to damage. And She-Hulk can do a lot of damage. Apparently, Captain okay. America gains super strength Hopefully as well. Keep him down long we did it! We win, out. baby! Wait. That's it. Someone else is here. I can almost feel a strange... Ah, it's 
distinguished the presence. I've been expecting you. The What's presence. up, Thumb? You Dude literally looks like a gold thumb. This? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Thor, the mighty Thunder God. Get them! Let's punch these guys. Minions. Bow before you. The shield's gone. Now's our chance. Look at this combo, Wamba. There's good damage. Now let's see what Thor can do. I'm bringing in the lightning and the thunder. Fry up all this his minions. Only opportunity to defeat him. Bow. And now no, this cannot be happening. we just utilize Mjolnir no. to lay the smack this down on this guy. Okay, so the biggest problem is that now Captain America has respawned. And again, we can't really do anything to him until he throws a shield. When he throws the shield, that's the moment at which we can actually strike. And now, the presence is also vulnerable. And we can actually switch into the character that's closest to him. In this case being She-Hulk. And... See ya. Down goes the presence. The collective mind of the presence is no match for Mjolnir. I didn't much care for being a part of it. <laughs> uh, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Shield is just juggling minions like they're nothing. Pitiful fools. Don't you see? This is just a test. My powers are enthralled to a higher command. You will see in time. Or how about now? Greetings, Avengers. Is good it's the Red you. Guardian! Red Guardian. Glad we could be of assistance. Really? They have a handshake? This is a very unusual technique. Duh. She Hall. Can you take some time out from that and radio the Quinja? Aw, do I have to? It's strange. Last intel on Atuma suggested he didn't have the resources to be any real threat. Oh. Well, we're headed under the sea, I guess. Looks like he's sorted out his cash flow problem. <laughs> There's enough weaponry there to attack the Holy Street Seaboard. It's the Rocks on Corporation! Rocks on. Those corporate criminals. Why would they back Atuma's invasion plans? Unless they know something we don't. Only one way to find out. Let's give them some real bang for their buck. I like that pun. I like that right, pun. Tony, We're about to send the them ba -ba boom shakalaka, baby. Got it. I'm guessing those differently colored pipes will lead us right to them. Yeah, probably lead us right into trouble, too. Well, I guess let's start with blue. Why not? I'm blue, double blue, double blind, double blue, double blue. Blue. All right, so we've got these guys that we need to clear. Very nice. Clearing that wave of enemies is quite lovely. And actually, you know what? This brings us up for our second Marvel Mastermind quiz of the episode. And it is going to be an interesting one. And that is what throne is a Tuma after? Let me know down in the comment section below. You can see the answers currently on your screen. Okay. Now, what we're after is actually getting the switch active. And we're doing a good enough job, I suppose, of getting this thing fixed up. Is that it? Okay, that was just one of his minions. I thought that was a tumor just swimming above us. That looks important. Let's break it. <laughs> that's, that's literally the attitude in every Lego game is, ooh, that looks important. Let me go on ahead and destroy it. Because again, the smash and bash strat of every Lego game is always and forever applicable. All righty, Rue. Time to flip a switch. A flip, flip. Oh boy. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, goodbye, guys. Hey, Captain Marvel, we need your help because you're the one that has invincibility using a power shield, don't you? There we go. Which means you can stroll right through these heat laser beams, which is pretty brilliant. Proceeding to then melt down all this other junk. 
And we, as a result of that, actually get a bunch of rewards, which is always lovely. So quite happy to see that. Now, then we attach one of these little boom shakalaka devices. And guess what? It goes boom in three, two, and one. Okay, I, I mistimed that. Three, two. Oh, come on, game. It's a tumor. He's arrived. Hey, cool mask, dude. I got to be honest with you. Cool mask. Um, Pony, can you stop taking leisurely swims and help out? Okay, that's not what I meant. I'm gonna box this guy. You haven't seen the There's some lovely damage. Oh, Captain Marvel, please come back. It's one of those like, baby, come back. Oh no. Okay, well, I don't know where Captain Marvel. Oh, there's Captain Marvel, alive and well, alive and well. That's a little bit concerning for a moment. Okay, we're gonna go back through the tube here because let's just be honest, this is fun. Once we've done that, we then have a choice of red or yellow. Let's go with red. Why not? Because red is the coolest color ever made. Let's be honest. Hey, what's up, bad guys? Later, dude. And we've melted that guy down too. Now, it does look like we're going to need some heat to melt down this gold Lego object. Sorry, does that sound like bragging? That is brilliant. Flip the switch. Anyone justify getting all this stuff to Atuma? Some people can justify anything if the price is high enough. Do you forget who you're talking to? Oh, I wasn't thinking. Sorry, Tony. Everybody's got a price. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go on ahead and attach the second one of our boom shakalaka devices. That's one of them set up. Two to go. What? Captain Marvel, I know that you went off planet, so I guess you skipped math lessons, but you did the first one. What are you talking about? That's one of them set up. That's two. You did one. Tony did one. That's two. Whoa! Bro, where'd this guy come from? Dude's literally got a surprise attitude. Peasants, this is an outrage. You gotta love when bad guys always call the good guys peasants. Peasants! Real original, bro. Real original. Finding Bruce. As long as it's not Wayne. Wrong comic book universe. Okay, we just boom shook a lock at that guy. Fortunately enough, uh, if there's one thing you learn about the Marvel Lego games is that the whole not killing thing that Bruce Wayne does, uh, yeah, it doesn't apply here, bro. Because these guys not only destroy their enemies, they literally piece them up, bro. Into literal pieces. So, doesn't mess about. Flip the switch. Brilliant. We're going to send this boom shakalaka as well. Oh my goodness. Now, the next thing requires us to actually destroy that silver Lego object. There's a hatch on the ceiling. Think we can destroy it? Good call. Leave it to me. Okay. Now, time to activate the third and final boom shakalaka device. Right. That's Run. It's not that guys. Okay. Now you're annoying me, Tony. That's the third one. There's math to this. That's a cool landing, That's bro. That was so cool, man. Well and truly sunk. I like that pun. I like that pun. What was a tomb of planning? Why attack now? What was Watch out. Huh? You will pay for this insult. Oh, oh, damn. Ouch. I don't want to worry you, but I Dude, he's got the blue screen of death. Validated my warranty. Let's get back and debrief. There's something bigger. <laughs> I didn't even notice that he got the blue screen of death. The one that you usually get on Windows. Well, that was kind of successful. Meanwhile, back in New York. Oh, it's everybody's favorite character, Miss Marvel. No. What I meant to say is the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. At your service. No way. We get Spider-Man in our team? This is so cool. Well, we could have done this without him. Hey, easy, White Tiger. I want my brand new shreds and everything. Who are these guys, anyhow? Escapees from the raft. Which means there are probably a few supervillains up ahead, too. Interesting. I guess at the raft, there's three the tremendous haircuts that they allow you to have, and that's the it. The Bridge of Anarchy. 
This would make an awesome fan fiction. Let's focus on saving civilians first. Team names come later. Okay, oh, so here we what go. To the bridge. And who's behind all this? I don't know. Man, this version we'll of Miss Marvel is awesome. You know? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just clear some of this extra rubble. Then we're gonna transform to Spidey. Because we have some grappling to do. We're gonna pull this Jeep back up here. I'll reassemble this web line. I guess we can technically run over here. Dude, what a cool Easter egg! Do you recognize these two characters right here, guys? Do you know who this is supposed to be? As we just threw a taxi cab at them. But do you know who these two characters are? If you know, comment in the comment section below. Because if you played Marvel Super Heroes 1, you should know who those two characters there are. Very, very iconic and important character in... Uh, I guess I should say not just Spider-Man's life. Peter Parker's life. There we go. See? I have my uses. Let's see how you match up against me. Oh, I'm Super just shocked to see you. Well, there's a shock. <laughs> I just did I just did a Very similar joke, Spidey. Spider-Man, but you won't be making fun of me for long. But there's just so much material to work with. And speaking of material, what's that costume made out of anyway? Are you a fan of unfashionable cushions? Hey, what did I just tell yeah, you? Yeah, bro just took Don't like a, his grandma's shotgun. couch, cut it up into uh, materials, Watch and then created himself blast, a new guys. costume. Yeah. I'm going to get away from the shocker yeah. blast, and then we, then we go in with damage. Okay, let him do his little firework showcase. Oh, you want to rumble again, sir? Because it is not looking good for you. Oh, no! Bro, we just got hot right there. Mysterio. What's Fishball Features doing here? I ain't done yet, you lousy do-gooders. Another big boss fight on our hands. This time, just about as ginormous as the Celestial that we fought in level number one on episode These other Mysterios are just illusions, right? Sort of. They seem real enough to me. Well, yeah. no shocker's real, so let's find a way to get to him. Now, you know what? I think it's time for one more Marvel Mastermind entry. Let me know down in the comment section below what is Mysterio's secret identity. Comment that in the comment section below. As I say that, of course, we got Mysterio out of existence so i don't know i don't know how unreal these mysterios are because their punches certainly feel real and they certainly hurt like real punches so that's a problem okay miss marvel it's your time to shine wow. is that miss marvel's catchphrase skadoosh you want some more do you Happy to oblige. I'm the sh Come on, Shocker. It's three against one. Give it up. I said you cut it out. I beat up the Shocker. What now? Spider-Man, move! <laughs> Vulture? Yeah. Stay still, you little troublemaker. I knew you were trouble when... Ow. Walked in. Talk about an uplifting experience. But you use your spidey senses. Hey, what's with the jungle? Ah, what do we have here? Some fresh prey for Craven the Hunter. Hey, White Tiger, you mind slicing through this for us? Thank you very much. It is very much appreciated. Spidey, do your thing. We're gonna pull this down. Maybe there's something we can build to get the lion's attention. Yes, like a giant steak. That gets my attention. Now I'm hungry. Dang it. I should have probably eaten before hitting record. Yeah, that looks pretty good, dude. You Enjoy know? your meal, bro. I guess our new friend was just hungry. So you think you can outsmart Craven the Hunter? I mean, you we kind of did it already. Become an endangered species. Oh, Careful good joke. Guys. 
We're fighting someone who actually chose to wear that costume. There's no telling <laughs> what he might do. <laughs> yeah, that's a good insult. You cannot hope to defeat me. I have hunted bigger game than you. Now, when he goes the into that twirl attack, game around here is the one you're talking, Craven. Too bad you won't be able to back it up. You cannot actually damage him in that moment. If we could punch him off the, nope, we cannot. It would have been insane if we could have, though. Can you imagine? Hey, what's Let up, Craven? See how you deal with this. Here he comes! Look out! Hey, let him do his little twirly move. Now we go in for this damage. I am oh. Whoa. Just Craven, you just got roasted. Is literally. Over, and figuratively. You might want to take up a new hobby. Bada beam, bada boom. We did it. Good work, everybody. Hey, Spider Man. Watch out. He's back again. The amount of smack talk delivered from Vulture. Okay, what'd you bring us into? Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, I forgot about that. So it's Doc Hawk, but it's not just Doc Hawk. It's Doc Hawk with his ridiculously ginormous mech suit. Get it? Superior adversary? Because he's superior. Oh, boy. So he's not just annoying by himself, but he has this little army of minions, which are essentially kind of drone spiders. Now, when he's focused on his offense, we can actually go on ahead and drop some good damage. There's no escape. Quick, keep moving while he fires. How is this possible? My genius knows no Okay, limit. careful. Hey, that worked. We might just have a chance of defeating him after all. You just have to not get hit by this car that he's about to eat at us. Oh, ouch. Well, that definitely was painful. We're doing good damage, though. Generally speaking, the web shooters are the way to go dealing with this guy. But it seems like we found a pretty good spot to deal damage from this area right here. Down goes Otto Octavius. Bro <laughs> is getting beat up so hard he lost his hair. Heads, that was so epic. Well timed. Hey, it was a team effort. Hmm. Wow. What a rush. And even more fun than how I'd have written it. I mean, taking down five supervillains and then... Uh, Wittering halfwits. You've no idea of the machinations in play. He's coming, and you will all... Hey, Ark. No one likes a sore loser. Seriously. You two head back to HQ and give a full report to Wasp. I'll stay with this until the authorities arrive. You just want to dodge the paperwork. We did it. Great success. The arrival of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Our distress call, but the Avengers so they and beat Kang to it. Loki's master plan. And we're on top of all the usual planet-wide villainy. No, there's something else. Uh, there's a big giant yeah. butter knife entering the galaxy. Oh, yo, yo. Sorry, it's not a butter knife. It's That's Kang's ship. One big sword. People of New York. I am Kang. The Conqueror. Thousands of civilizations have fallen to my forces, and your city will fare no better. Let your fabled Avengers try and stop me. No one throughout time, in all of space, has ever been able to best me. All hail can! Now thanks! Yeah, you might have just missed it. But the last purple-hatted cosmic tyrant that came here didn't fare too well against us. Can't see any reason why you might do any better. That's right. That was Galact. He got Shrek in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1. Okay, but he couldn't do that. That's a problem. I need to check on S.H.I.E.L.D. What's left of it? Guys. 
It's also funny because we actually used the helicarrier to defeat him in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1 and Kang just got rid of the helicarrier like it was nothing. <laughs> hey, 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 what the matter? A lot is the matter right now because the uh, pillars are dropping. Um, okay, so another piece of Chronopolis has been stolen. Yikes. Now that is what we call a cliffhanger. Holy moly. Creepy Kang face in the bottom right corner. Avengers World Tour Level 2 has been officially completed. So once again, guys, of course, this is going to go on ahead and surmise all of the collectibles that we have gathered throughout level number two and what a level it was three epic superhero teams coming together to take down three separate threats only to then realize that kang has arrived we'll find out what is next for kang and our heroes on the next episode in the meantime guys look at the pile of characters that we just got that is absolutely freaking incredible i do want to thank you guys so very much for hopefully enjoying episode number two of the gameplay walkthrough if you're enjoying the new editing style and the new series please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button that would be very much appreciated subscribe if you haven't yet and of course guys most 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 importantly i hope you have an absolutely fan flipping fantastic day oh and guys don't forget if you want to represent the blitz army on the street cop that brand new smash and bash uh shirt jersey is that a shirt jersey jersey is that a thing I don't know if it isn't it is now go on ahead and consider getting one of those thank you so very much for your support i will hopefully catch you guys here on the next part peace out see you later alligators pretty cool that i'm alive and have better days i could walk see here i should celebrate think i could change my mind maybe elevate living life every day late at night not okay all i want